What's going on guys? Welcome back to your 10th JavaScript tutorial and in this video I want to talk about logical operators and logical operators are extremely important because they're going to help us test conditions inside our parentheses in our if else statements and there's two logical operators. There is the or logical operator which is two vertical lines and to find that on the keyboard it is directly above the enter button on your keypad and you need to hit shift or caps lock to uh, get that vertical line right there and there's another logical operator which is and and this is to ampersand so let's go ahead and use this inside an if still an if else statement and let's run a JavaScript program so I will create I'll create four variables I'll create one variable called one and I'll set this to the integer of one I'll create another variable called two, and I'll set this equal to two. I will create another variable, and I'm sure you can guess what's going to happen next. We're going to call it three, three, and then the last variable, we'll just go ahead and call it four. Okay, now let me go ahead and create my if else statement. So I'm going to create, drop that down a line. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it the conditions. We will give it a condition. We're going to use a condition inside of a condition. So we need another set of parentheses. And I will say if a, no, if one, I'm sorry, is equal to two, or, which is my vertical lines right there, three is equal to four, and double check your parentheses always. So I've got one opening here, two opening here, and then that's my third opening right there. So I've got one closing, two closing, three closing. Okay, so we're legit. Okay, so I know that one doesn't equal two, or I know that three does not equal four. So our else statement is going to populate in our browser. But let's just go ahead and set it up. And let's go ahead and just say, good job man close it out in our else statement we'll set it up to uh, just whatever's on your mind way off brother so let's go ahead and output this and way off brother should turn up there it is okay so we knew that because one is not equal to two or three is not equal to four but let's create one Let's go back to our variable up top and let's change it to two because now we know that two equals two. So one is set to two and two is set to two. So we know that's correct. So what we're asking with our or logical operator right here is just one of these, one of our conditions has to be correct for our true statement to run. So let's go ahead and save it and refresh it in the browser. And there it is. Good job, man, because one of our statements was correct, one or the other. But say we set it to and, and now it's going to go back to way off brother because it's saying that one is equal to two, which is true, and three is equal to four. Well, that's not true. So let's go ahead and save it and reload it in our browser. And it's way off brother because we knew that because three is equal to four. But let's go ahead and change our variable four to three. Let's save it. And now let's go ahead and reload it in our browser, and we should get good job, man. Okay, so yeah, just uh, in this video, we learned logical operators. We know that our and is declared by two ampersands, and then for or, we need to shift and two vertical lines to get that. You can just type or like that, or and like that, but I highly recommend not doing it because just in the world of computer programming, it's just more common to see the vertical lines or the ampersands. Two ampersands, not three. So hopefully this made sense to you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.